Hey everybody, it's Abby. Um, I am sitting here at my dining room table with my laptop and the box of goodies from Unlimited Tomorrow. These things and this thing because I'm about to do my first socket fitting, virtual socket fitting appointment with Unlimited Tomorrow so that I can narrow down which one is fitting better and how and make uh, little notes and adjustments and stuff like that so that we can move further in the process. Um, I'm really excited to do this. I have my live stream going and I have this going and I'm so excited to share this with you. So like I said, I'm going to have the, um, the appointment screen via, I think it's just a Google meeting right here. And then um, you'll see this and you'll see me trying things on. So hopefully you'll see it well, um, but here we go. I've got TikTok live stream some of my viewers there and they're making comments and all that. It's awesome. And then I have now my, my uh, big camera for YouTube. I've never had so many viewers looking. Okay. Yeah, I know. I think how many, we got 20 people in the um, live stream. All right, so uh, why don't we go ahead and start with the red socket? Okay, I'm gonna pull that out. So this one, okay, so a little strap in there. This is very different than plaster of Paris uh, <laughs> casting that w that I grew up using for the myoprosthetic arms. Yeah, and all of these three things you see here have been based off of the uh, scan that you sent in with the iPad. You guys, it's time to do the scan of my paw. Look how good this scan turned out. Oh, it's a perfect image. That's so cool. I love that. Um, so first things first, can you stand up for me and then have your arm in the view of the camera? Yes. So I got, is that, is that right? Just like that. Um, okay. You can have just like your full body side kind of like this, so I can kind of see it. Yep. That's great. So why don't you have your arm by your side and just bend at the elbow about three or four times for me. Yep, just like that. Why don't we go ahead and attach the weight onto that? Okay. So you'll notice there's a screw on top of that weight and that just screws right into the bottom of the socket. There should be like a little uh, white insert there. Okay. Yeah. So this is the test weight. I'll just show test them real quick. That's the test weight. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. All right. Um, so screw it on. Yep. Screw it on. And then once you don't need to need it to be very tight as long as the two surfaces are touching each other. Okay. Cool. That's where you can stop. Could be used as a wep some sort of blunt object weapon. <laughs> but this is not what the arm is going to be. Should Sorry. I stand up? Yep. Okay. Let me see. Okay. Yeah. So my arm is like definitely trying to slip out of this thing. Um, I could see over time how this por this portion right here, mm -hmm. where that make co makes contact on the inside, could chafe. All right. So why don't you take the weight off of this one, okay. and we can proceed to the. Uh, let's proceed to the white one. Cool. So the way how these are made is that the white one is kind of our baseline, and then the red is a little bit smaller, and then the green is a little bit bigger. Point. How many of these fittings have you done so far? Um, I kind of have done all of them so far. Yeah, every single <laughs> one? Uh, yeah. That's really cool. So like, how many people have completed prosthetics now, like in their possession? Um, so we're, everyone that we have sent out prosthetics to are still in the test group, so they're, they're still under testing. There's a lot of back and forth between our, between people that we're working with. Um, I would say just under 10 just devices under 10. so far. That's cool. I really feel like a guinea pig pioneer. <laughs> like you guys are yeah, the pioneers, the but I feel like the guinea pig of some really awesome pioneering stuff. Yeah. Um, you're not wrong. <laughs> It, whenever I die, this will probably remain on the list of like the top five coolest things I've ever been a part of. All well, right. feels good. You're, full, uh, you're definitely, you know, all the way to the bottom. I think so. Just about. Okay. Yep. So three times. It's definitely dead center on this one as opposed to the red one. Yeah, seems like it. It's right there. Uh, okay, cool. Uh, let me go ahead and attach the weight and uh, we'll see how it works with the weight on. All right. So here it is, the weight on. Yep. And same thing, like before, just bend right at the elbow for me. All right, and 
I can see that there is a gap forming. Um, does it increase as you move around? Uh, yes. Although that makes me kind of want to tighten it up a little bit. I ratcheted yeah. a few. That feels better. It does increase. But it's like the motion of my arm in here, like I have to like like pull my arm in a little to get the leverage right here, here. But like if if it were somehow able to be more supported, just even just like a quarter of an inch up here, like in using okay. that that strength of my arm right below my elbow for more leverage. Um, why don't we go ahead and take this one off, and we can go and try the green one. All right. I'm makes really, it really glad fun. you have all the all these supporters. It's, it really makes all this uh, a lot more a lot worthwhile. And oh yeah. Interesting, yeah. Make sure this is all the way up this time. All right, let me get this tighter. I love that ratcheting thing, that tension thing. Oh. That's really cool. I love yeah, how that feels. Yeah, the, uh, the boa dot. They call uh, it. A... It's very, very commonly used in prosthetics. Awesome. So how does that? How does the green one feel so far? Okay, this one feels the most secure on my arm, like the socket part. It feels the most secure. Yes. Okay. Um, so the green one is the tallest one of the set. Uh, how do you like the, now that the green one is the taller one, how do you like um, this air, this part right here? I like that a lot. I think that's what makes it feel much more secure. As you're bending, does that, does that bother you? Uh, does it go into your elbow crease? Not in an annoying way. If I can, I can't tell you how many suggestions I've gotten from comments and stuff over the years. Like, you should get a prosthetic arm that you can screw attachments on. Mm -hmm. And now that I know that's possible, you know, they're like, hey, you should get like a a machine gun attachment or a toothbrush <laughs> attachment or a drumstick attachment or you name it. The main area where I feel like I'm bearing the weight and like controlling the whole thing is right mm -hmm. in, in here. This seems Gosh. to just be like something that I, I guess just is keeping this piece on. I don't know. So of the three, in your opinion, which one do you think you felt the most secure in? Definitely this one. Definitely the green one. The green one. All right. So this is round one. And what I'll do is I'll take all the information we got today and rework the socket. So I'm going to make adjustments here and there, make things a bit tighter or looser or as need be. Um, and we'll make you another set of sockets. And hopefully in that set, we have something that will be a final product. Okay. Awesome. All right, Abby. Thank you so much. Um, thank you. Appreciate you giving us the time for this and I appreciate, uh, you having all your viewers and watching you as well. Oh yeah, yeah, absolutely. Thank you. This is really awesome. Take Back care. Here. All right, bye. Awesome. Ha! That was so cool. Wasn't that cool? I, I can't. I wish I could have had like video footage of me doing fittings before, um, like growing up with the prosthetics I used growing up. Um, not that that was bad or you know um, not also cool, but it's just so completely different. Um, especially because we're doing it on screen, you know, they're in New York, I'm here. It just, it's just blowing my mind right now. Um, so yes, as you may have heard, um, so I'm going to send this stuff back. He's got his notes and feedback from me uh, based on what we just did. And he's going to, they're going to send me a couple more based on the, uh, or they're going to, so they're going to send me a couple different sockets soon, um, with adjustments and stuff, um, based on this meeting here. So, Hopefully the next fitting appointment, um, we can kind of narrow it down completely. And then you know what's after that. That's the development of the actual arm. And I'm going to of course be filming the unboxing of the arm <laughs> when I when it arrives and you get to see that um, I'm here on my channel. I'm gonna li live stream it on TikTok and share it all over social media. So if you don't see it on live, you'll see it anyway. Um, but thank you so much for all of your enthusiasm, your comments, your questions, your support in the past year and a half. Thank you, Unlimited Tomorrow, for just continuing this, that your hard work and changing lives and being a light um, and including me in it. So thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Please stay tuned because obviously there's exciting stuff to come. Don't forget to subscribe and a special shout out to my patrons right after this.